right, so here we are going up here to uh, GSR to go pick up Paul and go get some ice cream. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? How are you? <laughs> you made it. Yeah, look at this thing. It's 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 definitely classic stuff, this man. This is classic. Cruising I love it. France. I figured you'd hang out with me in this. This is the only way I can get you to hang out with me is if I bring a cool Let's ring. Let's do it. Let's All go right. get some ice cream. Right on. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's go get some ice cream. Uh, this place is pretty cool. It's uh, it's cream with a K. Cream with the K. I think there's a hyphen in there. That, or a, like that means a, it's good ice cream. Yeah. Then. Well, they actually take uh, like cake crumbles and like put cake and then cover it with ice cream. And... Oh, you're talking my language now. <laughs> <laughs> I figured this you'd could be okay. Be bad. With this it, could be so... dangerous. All right. Here we go. We'll get to cruise down there. Got a nice sunny day for this. Perfect. Yeah. This is this is awesome. Nice day out here. So normally uh, on this show, I would pick up my guest and I would say, so what did you teach here at Fire Shows West? But we were co-teaching. So I kind of knew what was going yeah, on. But, uh, point. you know, you taught this afternoon, you taught uh, some rapid intervention crew stuff. How, how did that go? That actually went really well. I, uh, I had a full class, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, you know, we're talking about the solutions track at this conference, you know, looking at line of duty death reports and, and identifying problems and pinpointing solutions that you know we right. can have people implement in their departments today and so that class that I taught this afternoon was you know rapid intervention based on you know some realistic elevated stress training that I've done in the past and a lot of the lessons learned uh, from over 400 firefighters that we put through this so oh, there's wow. a lot of good information a lot of good feedback from the class today too good good yeah. good and I came out of the rapid intervention crew training where you built all the props and all that uh, yeah yeah so that was that was pretty uh, logistically difficult, um, but we, we kept pressure on it. We kept pushing forward and, and made it happen. You know, we uh, we had a lumber package that was pretty expensive, but we went out and looked for donations, and we actually got all of the lumber and the hardware donated. Right. You know, so it saved a whole bunch of money. Um, we were able to actually provide this training to. Are you doing all right there, buddy? <laughs> uh, no. Fight <laughs> you. We're just gonna coast, coast to cream. Got people looking at us. That's okay. I've been looked Laughing. at before. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the tester. I've learned how to drive it. I had it. Till now, I'm trying to talk and to you at the same time. And all right, I'm gonna start over in a second. Let's try this one more time. I'll figure it out by the time we get there. I promise. That's perfect. That's, it's pretty normal how this show goes. That's all good. So, Third. as you're shifting gears, nice job. Hold on, let me get the fourth first before All right. you. Here we go. Cross your fingers. It's gonna happen. Oh, wasn't that <laughs> in? It's not, there's no way it's that much forward. Make sure you're not going into low, I'm, low. There's no way. I went straight across. Jesus. We'll just cruise at 20. We'll stay in third. <laughs> we'll get there. It won't even go back into third once I get out of it, though. That's the hard part. Ugh. Yeah, we just go low and slow, right? Yeah, low and loud, and that'll be the problem. <laughs> All right, hold on. I will get this, I promise. Wrong way. It can't be any harder to Don't drive than the way. crown was. <laughs> but apparently I'm having an issue. Well, at least we don't have to stop every block and fix it. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, that was a fun episode for yeah. sure. I got it in a fourth over there. We'll be out of this parking lot in a second. I'll actually start doing some driving and we'll see how it goes. There's second. And it's got no power steering, if you haven't figured oh, that yeah, out. Yeah, I figured that part out. <laughs> Oh, we could have done firefighters racing go-karts and getting nice. <laughs> uh, that, that probably would have been easier to drive. <laughs> Bumping you while we're trying to talk about something. There's no gears to get through on that. <laughs> do you want to drive? <laughs> I do not want to drive. I will not do any better than you, I promise. Uh, All right. 
Let's see if we can start this up again. We'll see. What were we talking about? <laughs> well, we're, oh, we're talking about RIT, Rapid Intervention. <laughs> all right. So you're asking about the prop, and uh, we got all that material donated. Uh, we, you know, it was basically a Hail Mary. We thought we'd ask. Sure enough, we, we got everything donated. So right. um, we were pretty fortunate there. That was nice because it is, it is pretty expensive to buy a lumber package to build an extensive prop. Um, but we did it. Uh, we did it upright, and it really worked well. We had over, you know, 400 firefighters from 13 different fire departments go through this training. Uh, and there's a lot of great feedback and a lot of things that we learned that we weren't even expecting to learn from this training. And that prop had a lot to do with it. Now, the cool thing about that is, is when you set this up training, you basically set them up for failure, I guess, if you will. Yeah, you know, where this started was, I always had a problem with doing that training for success, and that's kind of the only type of training we ever did. Right. We got the materials ahead of time. We pre-studied. We talked about it beforehand. You know, talked about what success looks like. And then we'd go and do the drill. But what happens if things don't work out that way? What happens if we can't complete the mission? What happens if there's something that, you know, takes a left turn that we weren't expecting? And right. so I started thinking about this training and, you know, the training to failure. You know, if we can't complete the mission as expected, then that's going to be a problem. But if right. we're better prepared for it through our training, then we're going to be better prepared to make good decisions, to be able to utilize our skills more efficiently. And so that training to failure is really what, you know, was the heart of this, this rapid intervention stuff. I'm definitely figuring out how hard it is to try to have a conversation and interview somebody while driving a rig with stick that I've never driven that you're before. you're not familiar <laughs> with. Yeah, I, uh, I don't Whose envy Whose idea you. was this? <laughs> I don't envy you at all. <laughs>